Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a real quick look at a brand new 2023 Striker 2916 toy hauler trailer. We're going to step up inside here, spin through the inside, and then we'll come on back out and show you what it's all about outside. So we're going to start back here looking at the rear section of the new toy hauler here. Then we'll kind of spin our way forward. So first things up, you have the electric bed system across the back here. So we have it currently in seating mode and dinette mode. Uh, there is a table that comes with it and you can kind of set up in between. I left it out of the way so we could get through here a little easier. But this lower part, again, dinette mode, or you can put it against the wall, raise them up, or make it into bed mode so somebody could sleep down here. Now up top is another portion that will actually drop down and give you an extra bed up top. And you also have your pull across curtain over here to give them a little bit of privacy. So you could sleep four people back here fairly comfortably. Now I drop down one side of the screen wall so you can leave it totally down, the flapper in the middle so that you have privacy, or you can roll up the flapper in the middle, have the screen, or roll it completely up out of the way and just have total open airflow. Now the first portion of your floor is basically a sloped section with rubber diamond plate on it, diamond, rubber diamond plate looking floor. Um, so basically it gives you a little extra traction and tread when you are coming up into the RV and again it's sloped so it's just a little easier angle. Stepping back here onto your rear patio setup here. Kind of looking forward. Give me an idea here what this all looks like. It's pre-wired for Fury on observation camera. You have a couple docking lights back here. Deep tent safety glass windows. And they are using the pull down roller shades on most of the windows. Quite a few D rings in your floor as well. Goes all the way up there by the kitchen island. Couple uh, swivel chairs here. They do recline back. On the side of the cabinet over here, you have some of your controls for your slide, awning, and lights, and your modern panel. Digital thermostat for your propane furnace, stereo system. They're doing kind of a two-tone cabinetry look to it, so you've got basically some black and some lighter grays. The little sofa over here will flip down into a small bed, so again, you could sleep an extra guest there as well. You'll see one of these on this side and actually one on the door side as well. These are vents to allow for like gas fumes and stuff to escape if you have a gas-powered vehicle in here and it's shaking around making fumes while you're traveling. You want those popped open so that you know, you can get some of that fumage out. Now looking down your ceiling area here, you got a couple speakers in the ceiling, ducted ACs. Uh, you also have a 12 volt ceiling fan here as well. It's pretty rare to find a ceiling fan in a trailer. It's more of a fifth wheel thing. Solid surface kitchen countertop there, kind of an L shape. Now the kitchen area here is all one big slide. So from the bedroom door up there all the way back here to this sofa area is a slide out that'll close up. We'll actually close that up at the end here and show you what that looks like here shortly. Electric box with the breakers and fuses, some heat ducts coming out, propane leak detector, furnace underneath of the refrigerator, gas electric refrigerator here. This one was ordered with two ACs, so we have another AC control here, the bed up and down button, light switch, and then we also have our uh, ceiling fan controls. Little subwoof sp uh, subwoofer speaker up there, and your stereo or radio up there. Sorry, TV up there. If I could talk today. Whew. 
Now looking at your little kitchen area here, you've got a couple drawers on the left, some storage space below, Furion oven, three burner cooktop, flip up and down glass lid, graystone microwave, high rise spring sprayer faucet, and a single undermount sink. All the windows back throughout this area so far do open. Now going over here, we have our bathroom area here. You can get through the bathroom into your master bedroom as well. And they do that in part when the slide's closed up that allows you to walk through here. But you have porcelain foot flush toilet here, step-in shower, it's glass enclosure, skylight up above, quite a bit of cabinet space on the right there for your towels and linens and stuff. And then over here on this side, you've got your medicine cabinet area here, some light switches and fan control switches and some storage and stuff down below. There is a lock on both bathroom doors so you can lock people out. Spin back around here so you can see what this looks like from the other direction here. Now coming on back into the bedroom area here. So we have an entry exit door in our bedroom. There's a window in there that is thin shade ready, so you can buy an aftermarket shade for that. The traditional RV window there, again, tented window, has pull down roller shade, that does open. TV hookups up there on the wall, so you in on the ceiling as well, but it's got a backer in the wall so you can mount your TV there. Decent amount of room to maneuver around in here. Overhead cabinets, hanging closet on each side. Generator start stop hour meter and stuff up there above that little shelf. Electric outlet on each side of the bed. Window does open. Little vent fan up here as well. But a very open floor plan here when the slide's out. Now we're gonna step outside here real quick. I wanna show you around the outside. Then we're gonna come back in and close this thing up too. All right, so kind of looking down our side area here, we have that other little vent on this side for fumage. Looking down below, spare tire underneath the back bottom section here, we have power stabilizer jacks on the rear. A little light for your step area, triple entrance step to get you in and out of the RV. Large folding entry handle. Power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV. Manual override in case of an electronic failure, adjustable arms. You have an amber porch light up there along with that LED light strip, so you could use one or the other. There is also one of the security lights up there as well. And you have your model number located next to that entry door area. And also you'll notice a little advertisement sticker right here. It talks about three year limited structural warranty. Most RVs only have a one-year limited structural warranty. This brand and a couple other brands do offer a three-year. So it don't sound like a lot, but in the RV industry, that actually is a lot. Double axle unit here. Now this is where Stryker excels above most brands. This actually has shocks on it and a suspension upgrade in the center. So you can kind of see that uh, one right there in the center, but then there's also shocks on it. That's a pretty cool upgrade. You got an expensive toy in here bouncing around. It's nice to know they spend a little extra on your suspension to help. Aluminum wheels, easy loop hubs, four wheel drum brakes. Outdoor speakers up above. 
freshwater gravity tank fill right here, furnace exhaust right here, cable satellite hookups right here. In case you wanted to uh, put an outside TV out here or something on a nice day, you can do so. Refrigerator access panel for maintenance purposes right here, and black tank flush to rinse out your toilet tank also located right there. Again, triple entrance step to get you into your front door as well. Power front stabilizer jacks. Storage compartment area right here. It is pre-prepped for an inverter, pre-prepped for tire pressure monitoring system. You have a solar disconnect switch and you also have a battery disconnect switch, a light in here with the USB charger port, uh, and then your solar charge controller as well. So quite a few little odds and end things in this compartment. And you're also seeing a Blue Ox headpiece here. This customer's going with a Blue Ox Sway Pro hitch system. It helps with sway and weight distribution. Very nice hitch, uh, hitch system to do. Those are aftermarket items, so talk with your salesperson about something like that. You have a three-quarter fiberglass front cap, some LED light strips built in, lower metal on the portion down below. Two propane tanks, power uh, tongue jack here, heavy duty safety chains, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, auto changeover regulator on the propane tanks. And then there's room for one or two batteries to go back here, depending on what you prefer, depending on the size of the batteries as well. Looking down this side here, this is a white fiberglass exterior, lower black metal skirting. Now this fiberglass is also attached to an Asdale composite material instead of a wood Luon backer. So it's a nice improvement to help with delamination issues. Here we have some very important informational stickers. I want to pop this stuff up for you real quick. The first one popping up is your main production data sticker. This has the VIN number, axle sizes, production date, but most importantly here, gross vehicle weight. It's the most you can load the RV up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined, do not exceed that number. Next, unloaded vehicle weight sticker, basically telling you how much the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. Next is the cargo carrying capacity sticker, basically telling you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed that first gross vehicle weight number. And last but not least, tire sticker here, telling you tire size, but most importantly here, tire pressure. Make sure you check your tire pressure, very, very important. Now this one was ordered with the optional Onan 5500 watt gasoline generator. So that's what that would look like with the generator in. If you don't do the generator, it is still prepped for it. And there will be just a big open hole compartment right there. Now, looking down below here a little bit, you can also see dump area. There's a dump hose holder right there. And then your gray galley handle dumps all right down there. Looking down the side of the slide, you have your stove exhaust vent up there. We have 10 gallon gas electric water heater right here, city water inlet and cold water spray port also right here. Moving on back a little bit, you have your detachable power cord, cable satellite inlets, your fuel fill up and fuel pump station all right back here. You can also see on the side up there, the little vent up there. We also have another docking light over here. And in that black rectangle right there is prepping for the Lippert Stow and Go ladder. It is a aftermarket telescoping ladder that you can buy. It attaches right there, telescopes down, allowing you to get up onto your roof. Now that Lippert Stow and Go ladder is rated for roughly 350 pounds where the traditional mount on RV ladders only rated for 250 pounds. So it is a little bit stronger. Again, comes down, touches the ground. And what's nice there is you can detach it so that if you have small kids, they're not able to just climb up there willy-nilly whenever they feel like it. So it's a nice little safety feature being able to detach it. Again, docking lights in the back, prepped for that rear observation camera. 
Now we are going to step up inside here. I want to show you what this thing looks like closed real quick. This is a Schwintec slide. It is a 12 volt slide motor. And basically, oh, I forgot. When you do close up this slide, you have to flip this little sofa up out of the way. So we'll set the camera down there for a second. This little sofa right here has to fold over and then it flips up and there is a strap that comes on around and you basically strap it into place. Just kind of helps hold this up out of the way. And normally you do this a little fancier, but we're just doing it for video purposes here real quick to show you what it kind of looks like. And you come back to your little control panel right here. And we're gonna hit the button to bring this room in. Also, which I forgot to do, make sure you close your bedroom door up there. The slide will kind of push it closed a little bit for you, but you really should actually close it beforehand. So you have D-rings going all the way up there to the kitchen area there. You can move these chairs out of the way if you got a bigger toy. You can still access a little bit of your stuff right here. You can still get to your bathroom, through to the bedroom. I can get to the refrigerator. So still fairly functional with the slide closed up. Now, if you were to have a big toy in here, you can come through the bedroom, into the bathroom, into the living room if you needed to, to get back here, depending on how big of toys you got back here in the back, taking up all your space. But as you can see, it's quick and easy. Again, 12 volt slide, push a button, runs right in, right out. Nice little setup here. Thanks again, guys, for taking the time to watch this quick RV video here. Be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. Thanks again.